Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. As you might have noticed, we're at Sanpao Temple, more specifically the Demon's Bell, because I wanted to try something else today. I wanted to clear out the headless we've seen all around, and uh, we've just left them there. So, um, night has fallen, which is interesting, but probably because the central forces have invaded Ashina. That's right over there. I think I'm going to leave that for now. We'll be going back to that in the next episode. But for now, we're going to leave that there and uh, check out those headless guys. First thing I want to do is actually check out our skill points. Because I think there's one particular skill that we haven't unlocked. Or did we? So, projected force allows one to draw the power of that tool into the sword. And at least in a forward direction. The sword is imbued with the tool's effect. Either flame or divine abduction, but why doesn't that work with the the umbrella? I would think that that would work with the umbrella, so you just block ghost apparition damage and then just go for it afterwards. No? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna sacrifice most of that, but I'm gonna have to spend my money before we do that because I'm probably gonna die a lot, so I shouldn't actually be here. So, I bought a bunch of Divine Confetti, which should be enough. Um, hi. I think I can just kill this guy like this. Uh, which should be enough to get us through at least the first fight. Just gonna grab that. Aqua Sugar, okay. So, does this one still work? It does, okay. Because that actually leads us towards uh, Ashina itself as well, the Ashina outskirts. But, I think I'm gonna have to start off with the Divine Confetti. Uh, so we can start damaging this guy. So, Divine Confetti. And going in. Oh, that was a serious hit at the... And there. Okay, but I did get quite a few hits in, actually. The reason I wanted to attack immediately is I think I can interrupt this guy. There we go. Ah, uh, but I can't really... Okay. I can deflect, but if I get hit, the tanger buildup is immense. So there we go. One of the mobs is already um, dying now. Which is, which is good, I suppose. I'm just gonna go through here now. I don't think he actually cares. Yeah, there we go. So, I think we should do this a little bit differently. Uh, the real problem is that I lose focus. So, I'm gonna use the mottled purple gourd to get my terror defense a bit higher up and then maybe try to deflect with the umbrella instead. There we go. There we go. I think I got it the first time. There we go. So now I'm going to heal in between. Oh, that was another one. And there he got me on the second one. That was really quickly. So let's just revive. Oh, and that was a sweep. Just gonna get some... Uh... There we go. There we go. That's the first head is down. So we just need to be really, really aggressive. And there we go, Akko's Spirit Fall. Fallen Headless Spirit of Akko that increases vitality and posture damage for a time. Consume spirit emblems to use repeatedly. Headless are the ruined form of corrupted heroes who once fought for their country. Seize the power of an inhuman spirit by laying it to rest. But risk going quite mad unless something is offered in return. So there we go. The fog didn't dissipate while I was attacking it. So that's not a way to do this. But at least I got it down. And I 
think this would allow us to go quickly into Ashina, right? Because, yeah, we can... I think we can just about... So it's right up there. So if I do this... There we go. We can get out of the cave and into the Ashina outskirts, probably. What is this? Is there another way out of this? Okay, that was a weird camera angle, but... What is this? Is this the... The path we saw before? I think it is. Yeah, so this is the path you would normally take. And that's the area of another one of the headless, by the way. So that's the... No Ooh, yeah, things are on fire. That's not good. But uh, it's gonna have to wait. Because we're gonna go for our next headless. So the next one is supposed to be right over here, if I'm not mistaken. In the hidden forest. All the way down below. Oh, gold. Forgot about the chicken. There we go. Never forget about chickens. So that chicken is also coming, but I think he's right down there somewhere. Is this chicken gonna attack me? Doesn't seem like it is. But... There was one down here, right? I think there was. Ow. Took a bit of damage on that, but... I think I can hear it even. So maybe heal up fully. Get the model purple Gordon and the vine confetti again. And let's do this. Just gonna go behind it. Oh. Oh shit, the chicken is here. That's so good. Yeah. Fucking hell. The chicken didn't come after me before. There we go. That's the first one. Should I reapply? Oh, that's a picky. No, that's the wrong one. Ah, uh, crap. That's gonna be the end of me. No, okay. Okay. Oh, that was just... Just in range. Just wanna move back a bit. Heal. Thank you. Oh! Okay. That was... Not so great. I'm gonna let him do that, and then... Oh, back, back, back. Oh, I tried to get the tire out. Yeah, okay. Almost down. We try. Yeah, I tried to deflect with the umbrella, but it didn't open up. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't think he was going to do that attack. Ah, uh, yeah, and I'm dead. Fuck. Oh. So, for some reason, if the divine confetti runs out, I'm actually worse at deflecting the terror. Oh, no. Wait, did the fork disperse? There we go. So now, reapply the purple, purple myrtle gourd. Oh. I think I can... Could move. Could move normally now. There we go. I think the fog dispersed right there, right? I think I could do enough damage at a certain point. Ooh, Gachin Spitfall. Spiritfall. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Suppresses sound and presence, making the user harder to detect. Consume spirit emblems used repeatedly. I'm falling to pieces, said the man to himself, drifting deep into the forest. 
Okay, so that's another headless down. I'm starting to run out of uh, resources. But at least we're getting those spirit falls, because I feel like they might be important later on. Don't know why, it's a, a feeling that I have. Now, was this guy protecting anything? Doesn't seem like he was protecting anything, so let's just head back and we'll get to the one underwater. So this one is going to be a bit more annoying. Just because it's a bit further away. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. So we need to walk a bit to get there. And it has an annoying hug wall section. Wall hug section. Don't really want to deal with that, but hey. That's the way it is. And that's the way it is. So back at the Ashina outskirts, we can... Somehow the, the fire only works when you're further away. I think that guy's still there. There he goes, but I think those, yeah, those three phantoms are here now too. So I'm gonna try and ignore those. Because I just want to go in here. Let's get the purple gourd ready. And the divine confetti. Because this is probably one of the higher level ones. I would think. So there we go. So let's get purple gourd and divine confetti. And let's head in with the healing gourd equipped. There we go. There we go, got them immediately. Healing gourd, muddled gourd. Oh! There we go, that's the first one. Reapplying the divine confetti. Let's drink that. Let's heal up in between his doing that. Oh, that was annoying. Heal up. Oh! Oh, yeah, my uh, Divine Confetti ran out again. Oh, no, no! Oh, he just grabbed me out of the Resurrect. That was nasty. That was total bullshit. Let's do the healing gourd in a second. Ooh, that might have been too much. No, turn around. There we go. We got them. There we go. Don't know why I didn't get the death blow there, but uh, relentless attacking Gokon Spirit Fall. Reduces posture damage taken for a time. Dedicated burial mounts quietly appease the spirits with severed heads, though none call upon them for long. Okay. So that's our fourth one? Well, not of the day, but the fourth one in total, because we killed the underwater one as well. So that means we have two more left underwater in the Fountainhead Palace, I think? And otherwise, I don't have a clue of where there might be another one. So, might as well just use um, the Homeward Idol. There we go, the Homeward Idol. Let's use that. And let's go to the Dilapidated Temple, actually. So, the Umbrella is really cool, but I'm just not in the habit yet of using that properly. But, let's go into the Dilapidated Temple and make ourselves some upgrades, because the Sculptor is gone. So, let's upgrade. And the newer upgrades are probably really expensive, yeah. And we didn't get any money from killing those uh, headless, by the way. Which is weird, but fair enough. I think this one is going to be the most important. Suzaku's Lotus Umbrella. But we need one more of that Mercury stuff. Which 
is something we haven't seen just yet, but can we go over here and buy that first? So that's 600, I might be able to get to that. The rest, money-wise, I don't have a lot of money at the moment. So might as well just get one purse open and buy that. There we go, the loaded spear, spear cleave type, so we uh, can slash with our spear now as well. I'm gonna leave it at that, and the rest we'll see later on. Because I think the blue ones, yeah, we need that lazulite that we got from the fish last time. So, the only two headless left are the ones in the Fountainhead Palace Lake, which is exactly where I'm gonna go next, and dial up to them. Now, the first question I'm asking myself is, can I actually use a prosthetic underwater? No, because it's the same button as diving. So that is interesting, but I think I can actually use... Ooh, I can't use the fine confetti underwater. Because it would probably clean that off. Oh, this is going to suck. Because the left one actually starts attacking as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, and my uh, my aiming actually changes as well. Wait a second. This guy is lower level. Ow. But this guy, this guy has less health. So is that guy not real then? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I need to go to that one first, because he's lower. There we go. That's the first one, the spirit one. That guy's probably not even real. Need to dive. Let's just turn around. And let's just get those charges in there. That's a grab. Let's just get out of the way. One more time. There we go. There we go. Whew. Okay. Second try. Not too bad. The Yashariku Spirit Fall. Briefly sacrifice max vitality and posture while gaining a large attack power boost. So these are actually just um, reusable versions of the candy, by the way. Just now noticed that, but... Headless are the ruined form of corrupted heroes. This brave soul's twin was lost in utero. He may not have fallen to the palace nobles had his sibling been at his side. So that's probably the sibling of the one in the the moat at Ashina Castle. Okay, but there's a large chest down here with a lot of uh, caterpillars. Oh, these are skeletons of carbs. Skeletons of those big fish. Interesting. Are these things hostile? Can I swipe those? No. Ooh, those are treasure carp scales though. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So let's open this up. And then grab whatever is in here. Another prayer bead. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, because we didn't get any prayer beads from killing those. Headless. That is interesting. Okay. So now we got enough treasure carp scales to go back to our little fishy friend, I think. And give him those treasure carp scales and see what he does with them. So back at Harunaga, I think his name was, right? More scales, more scales. Harunaga. Purchase items with scales. So for six, we can get the lapis lazuli. But for 12, we can actually get another mask fragment. I am going to do that. There we go, that's the left mask fragment. Could get the Dragon's Blood Droplet, but I'm gonna save up for more Lapis Lazuli, because I'm feeling like we're not gonna get that too much. Okay, he still needs more. Give me more scales, because he's still too small. So probably need to ex exhaust his inventory there as well. But that means getting more fish. And I'm kind of out of ideas on that front, so if you guys have any more ideas of fishes I've missed, let me know. So then for the next part of this episode, I want to see what's going on in Ashina. So let's head over here. Or not. Well, that is interesting. 
I can't even go to the outskirts through this way. Okay, I'm gonna have to be creative then, I suppose. What if I travel to Sampai Temple and the Bell Demon's Temple? Because we know we could go through the tunnel, past where the Headless was, and get it to Ashina that way. We'll see about it. So let's go through the tunnel, bypassing most of this. But just ignoring the enemies. And this is also going to be a good way of checking whether the headless actually respawn. I'm assuming not. I'm getting spotted by something, but it's all the way to the sides here. So, no, no headless. Okay, there we go. Up the shortcut over here. To the left. And I can actually start moving upwards here. And it seems like the path is clear. So, going up here up here and then over there and that gets us to the wall which is great okay so we're in we are in seems like the buildings are destroyed just when i get a higher ooh definitely more rats where that came from oh god um i jumped down i'm gonna suppose they're gonna jump down I'm stuck. I'm stuck and I'm getting shot at by something as well. I think he actually took sugar. I'm just gonna go back inside. Yeah. It's gonna be better because I'm getting shot at. There we go. True the deflect. Okay, where am I getting shot from? definitely getting shot but this is a new building and those shortcuts we couldn't even open up are starting to make sense wait so is there there's definitely something firing at me ah it's from down there i think he's killing himself that seems like a rifleman of some sort i'm completely lost to where i actually am this things look so different now Okay, so we're here. Oh, wait, 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 this does look familiar. This is where I fought one of those first generals in the game down there. Yeah, okay. This seems relatively untouched. This guy, we can probably talk to this guy or not. He's still alive, but can't really talk to him. No. Is there a way forward? There is. So this guy's a bit angry. So there's one over there and one walking back and forth. So he has a kind of peculiar patrol dude. Because he went past me. And then just to the sides there. And now he's actually walking through my spot of grass. I think that actually got him down without the other guy seeing me. So if I just move... Wait, what? Oh, shit balls! Oh god! Yep, okay. Shiki, shiki, shiki. Shiki, shiki, shiki got me down. Oh god, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. There we go. That's one down. I'm gonna have to jump up and down a bit to get rid of those normal soldiers. So he's coming after me. And he can't do this. There we go. There he is. So those are two guys. This is annoying. I think there's one more. Jesus Christ, there's all the guys. There we go. Got a death blow on him. I'm getting shot at from behind. 
There we go. I'm gonna kill thing, this thing at least. There we go. That got me most of my health back. Oh, and I got out of the way of that. You saw me dodge, right? Come on, get this guy. Ooh! Yeah. Okay, this is bullshit. There's like six or seven guys down there. So getting this guy down first is probably important. Done. I think I can actually get a death blow on this guy. Oh, fuck you. And he killed me in one go. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a death blow on this guy. Could use him as little health potions though. Just gonna stop him from drinking up. Is that damaging his own guys? I wish it was. Oh, he just one shot at me. Okay, never mind. And then, there we go. Slit this guy's throat. Just... I'm just gonna get my posture back. And heal up fully. gonna try and loop a bit shooting my butterflies at him while we're going around just gonna circle him Because that samurai is making things more annoying. Because he's blocking shots as well. He's gonna get away of the fire sword. Stupid that they don't hit each other, because otherwise this would have been over really soon. Just gonna get out of the way. Just getting closer. Wait, are these guys super weak to that or what? Oh wow, how the hell... Excuse me? There we go. He's out of the way at least. Now he's gonna get it. Ooh, that's a jump. I think I almost got him there, so we're fine. He's just gonna drink up. That's another jump, but I'm not gonna jump because I'm just fast running around like a little, little twitchy, twitchy shinobi. That running is ridiculous, by the way. The fact that you can just run around them like an asshole. 
Is he slow? So I can get a few hits in, move back again, let him do that. And jump from away from that, and I almost have him. I almost have him, just, just run around like a little bitch. Don't get greedy now, but I think I got him. There we go. Jump through this swipe, and disemboweled. And we got another prayer beat. Okay. That was a champion, you say. But yeah, I did need to get a death blow on him so I could get that first hit in now. What's the best way to move through this area? I think if it's still there, I don't think it is. There's supposed to be a sculptor's idol over there, but I feel like they might have destroyed it. Um, that's Fulminated Mercury. I needed that for one of the upgrades, but what's happening? Okay, so ju it's just firing at me. And they blew me up. How the hell? Okay. There we go. I did get all my spirit damage back from that, by the way. Nibu Balloon of Wealth. And I think I can move around here. Just gonna have to be careful because they're firing explosives at me. That's where the Sculptor's Idol is supposed to be. I think I can see it. Ow, 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 ow. Just gonna jump over the fire. There it is. There it is. There we go. That at least gets us a bit of a base. And um, rest. There we go. We got this. We got this. So three skill points is not enough for what I want to do. Because I need four. But I might be able to get the drop on these guys now. Because they're through the gate through the gate so right into crouch so this guy's keeping an eye out but he might get backstabbed in a bit no he will he will there we go there we go that's all mine that's all mine oh I think I think they killed the merchant yeah, so if I needed something from him, he's dead. He's really dead. Oof. Sorry about that, buddy. Okay, so the memory is also gone. I think this guy is also looking in the wrong direction. I don't know who saw me. There we go. As long as he's holding his gun, he's actually fine. I don't know who actually saw me. There's one over there. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay, so there's a gunner in the tower. There we go, we got on top of the tower. So as long as he's not pulling out his swords, he's down. He's down, okay. So let's get that. And then there's at least two more over there, but do I care about that? Because I feel like they're all pointing in that direction. Can I get over this area I can there's nothing down here but there might be more enemies down here so there's definitely an item that might be a trap so I'm just gonna move up one I don't get a lock on for anything so I might as well drop down here because the gate is closed right that gate was closed I do hear footsteps, so there's definitely somebody there. Probably right next to the gate. I need to guess. Hmm. Ah, oh, there he is. He's going... Oh! Who saw me? I'm gonna move, because... There we go. That's a rat. There we go, there goes one. There we go. Just a little sip. Hmm. Question is, can I actually use 
previous shortcuts to go... Oh, I get the sprint option here. That is funny. That stays... I'm just gonna hide. How the hell... How the hell did you even see me? Ah, oh, I just not call them off. But I think these guys are actually weak to this. Oh no. I thought it did more damage before. Oh, that was a costly miss. Yeah, and I'm dead. I can't even recover from that. There we go. There we go. That's one. I got a Mikiri counter in there somewhere. There we go. Ah, more rats. More rats where that came from. Great. Whew. They got a... There we go. Get out of the way of the poison. So once I get the flex, I just the flex back. So that gives me a good rhythm to uh, get him down. That's actually a really easy way to deal with those rats. So yeah, this guy's dead. That way is blocked. And I'm starting to lose. Okay. So they. Did they die originally next to each other? That seems a bit weird. Yeah, okay. He's gonna see me, isn't he? There we go. There we go. Got a, a few series of deflections. There we go. Wow, these are easy all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. Need to be careful because there's something firing higher explosives at me. Heal up. Okay. So I think I can get up top here. So over here. And then kill this guy. There we go. Then over there. Nope, you won't get your sword, buddy. Okay. Now there's that guy. Does he look worse than the other guys? Doesn't seem like it, but I'm getting uh, a bit of fatigue here. There we go. Did that kill him in one go? I think it did. Oh god, what's that? There we go. Let's get him for the heal. And there's one more that knows my location. The one over there, probably. I'm getting very high quality materials here, which is nice. And I'm getting a lot of money as well, by the way. I'm actually hesitating whether I should go in there, because I feel like that's going to be another boss battle. Where the hell? Oh, he just... murdered my ass. I feel like this guy is heavier for some reason. Whew. I'm gonna have to get my posture back. Get it back, get it back, get it back, get it back, get it back. I'm just gonna heal. Whew. Why is this guy stronger? There we go. Whew. 
I don't know why, but this guy was a lot stronger than the other ones. But that gets us a whole bunch of extra materials. I think that was the guy defending the house over there. So, if I play this correctly, we we'll probably get all the way up top on the roof. Get around to the other side of the roof. Oh! Okay, so that's blocked off or not? Feels like it is. But I could go over here, latch hang, and then do it like this. There we go. Goodbye. And now, with one healing gourd, do I actually do this? Because this doesn't. This looks like a pulse fight, doesn't it? But that's a hell of a boss run, by the way. This is a pulse fight. Oh god. Um, they're burning. I don't know why, but why would he be burning because of his zone? This is the, oh oh no no no. There's a that's a that's a claw mark. That is ah, I just noticed that. That's a giant fiery claw mark. Just gonna kill this guy. And there's this guy we can talk to, actually. Everything was burning. The fires raging out of control. Howling was intense. The howling was intense and everything was on fire. Yeah, I think we're dealing with a giant monster. We're dealing with a giant monster. Can I please use this? Oh, I can. Oh, what? No. No. Yeah, there's something running there. Yeah, there's that's a demon. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest. Yeah, so with that, I know I'm sorry I have to do this, but with that, I'm gonna take a little break. Because uh, I'm actually going to the Sculptor's Idol and getting that fire uh, umbrella. This is, we're gonna need that. We're definitely gonna need that. So uh, I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode of Sekiro Shadow Side Twice when we try to kill that thing. Yeah, that thing. That thing right over there. So see you guys next time. Goodbye.